Fox News TV anchors, Fox personalities, not all of them, but most all of them, claim to be Christian, when actually their character, their speech, their cocky and arrogant attitudes, and their conduct is completely unbecoming and totally opposite from true Christianity and opposite the true character of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, in terms of me mentioning some names in a moment, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20, tells a Christian leader that, quote, those who continue in sin rebuke in the presence of all, so that the rest also will be fearful of sinning, end quote, 1 Timothy 5.20. So at times, public leaders need to be called to account. Public ministers, talking about public people, at times need to be called out. Public politicians, public persons, from the Pope of Rome right down the list, who are publicly claiming to be Christian, misleading people at the same time, including misleading the body of Christ. And I take no pleasure in mentioning Sean Hannity and Judge Janine, but when you have this kind of public display of off-the-charts, cocky attitudes, and with vulgar language and constant curse words, and with Hannity, for example, boastfully talking about drinking alcohol or beer with his friends, and at the same time boldly proclaiming to be a Christian, as both Hannity and Judge Janine also do, and they do it publicly, then it's time for me to speak out sometime, since this is a massive mockery of true Christianity, and this kind of character, speech, attitude, and conduct fails altogether true Christ-likeness. Untold, unsuspecting people all over the world are wrongly believing that the Fox News people like Hannity and Judge Janine, Bill O'Reilly, Huckabee, Geraldo Rivera, you go right down the list, are true reflections of Christianity, which is a farce. No matter how many times Sean Hannity claims to be, quote, a good Christian, end quote. That's not true Christianity. No possible way. And so hopefully that Hannity and Judge Janine and the other Fox News people in this profile of unchrist likeness will begin thirsting for God and his word and become changed persons in Christ instead of continually deceiving themselves and deceiving others to believe in their false Christianity.